Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. It's Sunday night. It's time for the episode of Commonalities Compared. This is a show that Ben, my subscriber, came up with. We ironed out the, uh, the little details, and so he gives me the two commonalities, and then I compare them. So they could be any rock commonality either. They could be two bands, could be two albums, could be two guitar players, could be two vocalists. And last week we had two producers. This week we're going with two bands. And the two bands that have something in common are these two. Kansas and Styx. I chose probably their arguably their best albums from both of them. At least the most popular albums from both of them. Styx's Grand Illusion. Kansas Left Overture. So, these two bands have been around since the 70s. Both coming out roughly the same time. Both Midwestern bands, you know. A lot of similar sounds going on here. So you got a little bit of progressive rock at times. You've got um, some hard rock. Lots of hard rock here. Uh, even some bluesies and, and funky little tunes more so with Kansas than Sticks, but there is a little bit of that going on. Absolutely killer vocals. You've got Tommy Shaw, Dennis D. Young, um, James Young, and even uh, more recently, uh, Lawrence Gowan. Where with Kansas, you had Walsh and uh, Robbie Steinhardt, you know, both doing some absolute killer vocals on there as well. So there's lots of vocals on these bands as well. There's some great guitar playing from the guitar players. You've got some excellent keyboards from the keyboardists. Yeah, very similar styles, I think, in a lot of way. Um, it's just funny for a lot of people always say, how can you love Sticks but not like Kansas? And they, to me, it, for them... And for me, it seems like a no-brainer. But I've come to deter the determination over time that um, Styx is, has a better set of melodies and songs that make more sense to me than Kansas. Kansas tends to be, in my opinion, a bit more of a... Uh, what's the term they use? Kind of uh, droning on with the guitars and everything. And not as cohesive as Styx is, I think. That's just my own opinion. But overall, they both produced... Uh, Kansas had about six great albums in a row, and Styx probably had five or six great albums in a row. Styx is still making albums that Kansas is not, that, that I know of. I don't think they are. Anyway, some really kind of um, similarities to them in a lot of ways. Of course, they're both... Uh, American bands, both uh, some people call American prog bands. I've never actually thought of them as prog bands, so I'm probably the wrong person to suggest this. I think of them both as hard rock and a variety of different tastes in their music. Uh, maybe Kansas is a little bit more proggy, probably a lot more proggy in, in some ways. Um, both have some excellent album covers displaying that progginess as well and these are two good albums to show that off probably there are two more proggy albums as well um i'm not as familiar with uh kansas and uh, when they started i think stick started in i'm gonna go back to say 72 that seems about right maybe uh maybe kansas might be a little bit earlier or they might be a little bit later i'm not really 100 percent sure because i don't really follow them much um, I do own a few albums by Kansas, and they do have some songs that I love. Um, but I just think for myself, Sticks just makes more sense to my way of thinking. Um, and I've grown on Sticks over the years. Maybe if I'd started out with Kansas in the same kind of vein, I might feel the same way. I just find, um, as good as the vocalists are in both bands... I find the vocalist in Kansas uh, at times a little bit louder than I can handle for the music uh, that they're playing. Um, so maybe that's part of the turnoff. I'm not sure what it is. And I want to make it clear. I, I don't dislike Kansas. I just don't 
turn my crank in any way that I can think of. Uh, perhaps that'll change over time. I'm going to be doing a series on those bands that um, I, for whatever reason, haven't really paid attention to, and I'm almost certain that Kansas will be one of the bands in there. This is more of an attempt to try to get me to listen to the music more and see if maybe at some point it catches. The longest on record it, for me, of not liking a band or not listening to a band or not getting into a band was probably uh, The Doors, which was over 40 years of hearing their stuff here and there and just not really liking any of it. And now I like them a lot, so it, it could change for Kansas or ELP or half a dozen other bands. But anyways, that's the similarity, some good produ production as well. Now, I was just trying to see what label the Kansas was on. I'm not sure what label they're on. Looks like... Uh, it would help if I had my glasses here, but I was using them somewhere else, so I don't. I know that um, Sticks was on the A&M label. Um, really good, solid stuff on the A&M label. Uh, originally, they were on um, Wood and Nickel, of course, and that hurt them a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure about Kansas is, uh, where what label they were on. I can probably look through here and see, and there's a nice shot of all of them, too. This, this book opens up nicely. Some inside stuff, lots of inside stuff, and lots of the back stuff here going on. Um, yeah, both of them American bands that toured extensively. Ironically, neither of these bands is in the Hall of Fame either, which they, they both should be. There's little doubt of that to me. Um, I mean, you, you don't have to listen to Kansas to be able to appreciate the fact that they had some absolute killer albums. Um, can't understand why they're not in the Hall of Fame, but they're not. And, St and Sticks is even more of a mystery to me because they had four double, triple platinum albums in a row. Very few bands, if any bands, have done that, really. And still not in the Hall of Fame either. So they both have that in common as well. So there you have it. Today's commonalities compared... Kansas and Styx, both American progressive rock bands, progressive hard rock bands or hard rock progressive bands or whatever you want to call them. Uh, both had some poppy errors as well. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit the like and subscribe. Any comments about the two groups, you can put in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we will see you next Sunday for another episode of Commonalities Compared. Have yourself a good evening. Take care.